So I'm going to talk to you guys about the one habit that has changed my life in so many different ways. So hey guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Demi Reyes and I'm a foundation year one doctor working in the Oxford Deanery for the NHS. So in this video, I'm actually going to talk to you guys about why I'm journaling, how it's changed my life and how it can change your life and also how I do it and how you can do it too. It's actually super simple and it's such an easy, quick habit that you can do every single day. So a bit of background on why I started journaling. So when I was around 15 in high school, one of my really kind, creative, lovely friends gifted me a journal. I'll show you a photo here. It was my first ever journal and I thought it was the sweetest thing ever. It was also supposed to be a devotional so by faith I'm a Christian and it was also a great way to write Bible verses and reflect on the verses or the Word of God. I was just so thankful that I made sure to write in each page every day and I think that's how it started. And then I used that journal to not only write about God and about the verses that I've been reading but also about my thoughts, my feelings. I used it as a way to vent and then I realized every day that I journaled I just felt so much better I just felt like a heavy weight was lifted up off my chest I just felt more, you know free and I knew that journaling was magic. I actually collected around 10 to 12 books of journals and I have it all at home in Belfast. I realized that I wanted a journal where it's more accessible, more portable. There was something that upped my journaling game and that app was Notion. Notion actually honestly is really really good. I really highly recommend that app. To make it a bit easier and to explain how it's helping me every single day, I'm just gonna show you guys how I journal. First of all, you just go to Notion. So I moved on to Notion during November. So you can see in November, I was really good and I journaled every single day since I started Notion. And in December time, things happened. It was the peak of COVID and it was just very stressful. You can see that from my entries that I've missed a few days. And I've realized that when I'm demotivated, when I'm sad, when I'm not myself, that's when I miss journaling. And in January, I journaled every single day and also February, March, I'm becoming more demotivated. And you can tell they're actually journaling templates in Notion. I can link it down below and you can click it and then you can basically have this template and you can change it to your liking. If you have any questions on changing the layout or adding features, just comment down below and I can answer it or send me a message through Instagram. So this is my day six of annual leave and this was created on March 28th. I think my main priorities was to get groceries and to work on my poster presentation. Sometimes when I feel very demotivated, if I want a little pick-me-up, I would Google a verse or I have in my notion, I have concepts and thoughts where I put some quotes that I really, really like. I would put it at the top here. So this is from Thomas Jefferson. Don't you want to know who you are? Don't ask, act. Action will delineate and define you. And then I would just tell myself good morning. I don't know, you can write whatever you want here. I actually don't know what this box is for, but I just say good morning to myself every morning, which might be a bit weird, but it's fine. And then I put today's focus or what I want to focus on. And I wrote here, to do doctor admin work or projects, not YouTube, even though I want to and it's definitely more fun. Yeah, I think I was just reminding myself to do my work. And then I have my thoughts and worries here. It's a little toggle button. I'll keep that private because I want some privacy as well. That's when I just write everything that I'm thinking, all my worries, all my stresses, all my feelings. It's just like online therapy. Sometimes I don't even know why I'm sad or why I'm anxious or worried or stressed or why I'm feeling lazy. And if I write it all down, it can help me identify why I'm feeling that way and then it will encourage me to take action. And then there's a section for three things I'm grateful for. And I think doing this every day has made me more grateful, positive, appreciative of what I have. For this day, I wrote content creators who talk about important topics, my opportunity as a doctor to improve patient care by doing audits and poster presentations. Actually, I think doing poster presentations and audits are not fun. <laughs> They're hard work, but I'm trying to be grateful because I know that doing those things is important to improve patient care and it's an opportunity that I have. So try to be grateful for that opportunity and then also grateful for of course my health good food and that my family are all well my camera died so let's start again next thing is what would make today great this is actually based on a concept by someone if i find out who it is i'll put it here it's good to have three main 
goals that you want to achieve in a day and have it all down so when you have that then it can force you to do those main things and focuses your mind to know what actions you need to do for that day i really like this and my three main goals for this day was to outline my poster presentation have an idea for meal prep and make groceries list and exercise and then the next thing is daily affirmation basically you are what you think you are a big component of knowing who you are is based on your thoughts of yourself and i am guilty of telling myself negative thoughts i still do it it's something that i'm trying to improve but i still do it so i think this section is amazing because it's a daily affirmation so i am and then say something about yourself or say something that you want to believe yourself and something that you want to be. So I wrote for my daily affirmation today, me. I'm not whatever people think of me. I do not get my validation from external sources. I, it just reminds myself to care or value what I think of myself more than what people think of me. I am more than enough and will always be more than enough. Sometimes I feel like I'm not good enough. I just have to remind myself that I deserve to be where I am. I deserve to be in this hospital, in this scenery. I deserve to be a doctor. I deserve everything. I am more than enough. And sometimes I just have this imposter syndrome and I need to remind myself that I am always enough. And then I also, I am a child of God and that just helps me and reminds me that I have a great God who's there for me and who loves me. So yeah. And then this is something that I added on. I started off journaling because of my devotional. So yeah, this verse today was the Lord is my shepherd. And then I just put it down here. This will take me roughly, so it depends. So if I want a really quick one and I have no time and I'm rushing, this will probably take 10 minutes. But if I have a lot of worries or thoughts that I'm scared about, it can take 20 minutes. And then if I also want to do a full devotional in the morning, then this will take longer, around 40, 50 minutes. It really depends. I try to journal as long as I can because I think journaling is amazing. This is something that I didn't do. I've only started when I started Notion was to do a nighttime journaling. And I actually really like this as well. This one I wrote night, it's 2 a.m. And then I wrote here the main focus of what happened and I wrote a half productive day. I think that's why I slept so late because I was on YouTube for so long. Uh, normally I would write a story as well of something that happened during my day if I have time because it's really funny and interesting to look at in the future. And then three amazing things that happened. So I posted another YouTube video. I meal prepped and exercised. One of my best friends getting married so I'm a bridesmaid and amazing thing to be chosen as a bridesmaid so I'm really really happy and then how could you have made today even better so this is quite good because then you know how to improve yourself I should have done some e-portfolio so some doctor admin and read a book so I didn't have time to read a book during this day so that's something that I want to improve and then my favorite thing of my day is groceries so my boyfriend and I because we moved house the grocery store is a bit farther so we have to walk a bit longer and yeah, it was just like a nice time to get out of the house and explore the area and then seeing two ducks on the street and then sometimes I would put a photo or a video of something during my day so these were the two ducks who were just looked really lost but they were super cute <laughs> I wanted to share this with you guys because it's something that I've realized has been changing my life for the better. If you journal and you have any tips for me to up my journaling game, please comment down below. I'm really interested to hear it. If you like this video and you are excited to try this out, please give this video a like and subscribe and share to anyone who you think will benefit from journaling. I hope you guys are always happy, healthy and safe and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!